All right, I just want to kind of preface this video with saying that one, this song is super fast and decently hard, um, but two, that I'm learning it by ear, which is originally played on a different instrument, and also from that dude who plays it in his backyard on YouTube, that video, he plays it at like 5,000 miles an hour. It's an incredible video. But that being said, um, I know I'm probably not getting 100% of these notes right, but it sounds pretty much the exact same, and people know what it is. But I think the way I'm doing it, I'm going to play it through slow one time, so if you're at like that intermediate level, I know I learn a lot better just watching someone play it slow break it down and um i'll play it slow and then after that i'll break it down step by step but playing it slow um standard tuning no capo no nothing So getting into it, going into the breakdown, um, it's going to be starting off on your G string, and you're going to go 5 to 7, then pinky, 8th fret, B string, which real speed is, and then back to your 7 on your um, G string, excuse me. Now you can do a quick hammer on pull off, 5 to 7. And then you go down to your D string, 7th fret, and then 5th fret, then again. So that's going to be a hammer on pull off to open, and then A string, five or 7 to 5. So one time slow. Which regular speed is. Back to the next part. There, the next little one, which is going to be, which is going to be the same five to seven to eight, and back, and then hammer on pull off. Yeah, and then it's just going to be a um, D string seven to five, and bend up real slow. So straight back in. And basically, that's going to repeat again. So the same as the first part. Up or down. But you play that part twice. So that same, the part where you go up, and then you get the... And then your big bend. Play the going up one, then the big bend again. Which, together, in real speed, is... Again, it's quick. <laughs> but moving from there, this is where you kind of get into the little groovy part. But you're going to be um, fifth fret. It is the minor, not the major, um, A minor shape, which is going to be full bar fifth fret um, and the A minor shape. But you're going to get two down strums. That's it. And then you're going to slide down, which is going to be a walk up from three, five, Three, five. And then three, five, three. And then the second round is going to be down strum again. You keep coming back to that. That's the reoccurring. So, so far. So that one, all you're going to do is the down strums, three, five, three, five, bend, instead of getting back to the, it's just the bend. Back to the down strums. And then it's the same as the first one. Again. So, so far on that part, we have... This is where it changes up. Down strum again. But on this one, you're going to slide up to your seventh fret again. So three, five, three, 
five, slide to seven. Let it ring out for a second, and then there's a little scale. So there's two ways of playing, totally up to you. I started one way and I kind of transferred, but the scale is... Um, which is going to be, if you want to play it that way, um, this going to be your G string, 5th fret, 7th fret, D string, 5th fret, D string, and then 8th fret, A string, 5, D string, 7, D string, one more. and then back to your 8th fret, 8th fret, A string. So, back into the down strum, and then it repeats the down strum part. But the alternative to playing it that way, um, instead of, would be, so more sliding, more hand movement, but you can do it. So, it's up to you, you can get the more slidey sound. Or play the scale. Okay. But that will get you the intro, and I hope you get that part quick, and I hope it didn't chunk any of that up. Um, I'll play it one more time, full speed, just so you can hear how it sounds if you do get it down. Um, the template's played out, or you can listen to the song. Um, but overall, it's going to sound like this if I can get it. <laughs> One good shot. Get it? Blast to play over and over. <laughs>